In a park where the river ripples and runs fast, Huilamut in the Kalapuyatung, there's a new bridge coming. It's an exceptional park with a unique bridge. It's where the Oregon Department of Transportation is creating a modern $143 million marvel. The cool thing about this is that, you know, you see so many different people coming through these, on these paths, using them on, you know, by foot, on their bikes, uh, competitively, fitness-wise, recreationally, and that's going to remain, in fact, be improved upon. The new Willamette River Bridge replaces failed and temporary bridges that span the river today. Stress fractures tell why one was closed, too much traffic bearing down on its joints. Bridge 2 is temporary and can't handle the increasing demand placed on it by the necessary movement of cars, trucks, and more on our highways. After three years of vetting by planners, engineers, park users, and others, construction of the new bridge is underway. I think this is a great project. I'm really happy to be working here. Um, I live in Pleasant Hill. This is our hometown. My, you know, Hamilton Construction is based in Springfield. It's, uh, we're very pleased to have this opportunity to build it. The new bridge will do much more than provide a simple vehicle travel link over a river. Its very position marks the boundary of two critical open areas which lay at its footings, so it serves as a cornerstone of both, therefore is a part of the parks themselves. Just west of the new bridge is the 200 plus acre expanse of the Wheelamut natural area of Alton Baker Park. With Pree's Trail at its core, the area has gained popularity with runners, cyclists, walkers and others. In the water that abuts the park, tubers, swimmers, waders, and rafters enjoy the cool relief the river provides. It's also home to a variety of wildlife. Just east is the Willamette Corridor of Willamette Lane Park that's home to verdant trails including the North Bank Trail and the Canoe Canal Trail. It's a lush refuge where cyclists and pedestrians enjoy relief from urban sprawl. And many of those rafters we see downstream put in here just above the bridge. They'll all surely be affected by the new bridge construction, walking path detours, bike path detours, and more. But the end result will be better for everyone. Because it will greatly improve the way the river and the bridge relate to each other. Instead of a bunch of pillars in the water, there's going to be just two graceful arches meeting in the center of the river, and uh, the river will be honored by the bridge. Into this environment now, goes work on the new Willamette River Bridge. Out in the river you'll see we've landed a track hoe in there and that's going to start working on what we call the Bent 3 Coffer Dam and that's going to be the foundation of the two arch bands in the middle of the structure. While it's true that some trees will have to be removed to make room for the new project, the lumber will be kept as part of it and other trees will be replanted to make up for the loss. The old mill race relics will be made a part of the new project too. They'll be preserved and enhanced and remain where they are in a new, more friendly environment. What we see now is just the beginning. As progress continues, workers will haul debris, build a temporary catch-all platform, take down the old spans, build the first of two, and switch traffic to the new bridge. Our plan is to get our demolition containment and our work bridges done by the end of our end water work window, in, uh, which ends October 31st. Then we'll start work with the uh, construction of the arch and that'll take through next spring and summer and ultimately we'll have everything done and by and we'll be switching traffic onto it in March of 2011. In the end we'll see a new bridge in a revitalized part of the natural area as what started out as one necessary ODOT traffic accommodation project will leave the entire area better than when we found it. I think it was uh, a good public process. Just because you understand and you trust and you know that people are doing this for, for a reason and you know um, it's, it's improving a beautiful structure over a beautiful river. And the end result will be? A much more harmonious fit between the bridge design and the park itself.